go ahead and start this regular session for approval of minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the December 1st, 2020 regular session minutes? Moved by Dr. Waters, seconded by myself. All in favor of approving the December 1st, 2020 regular session minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, any agenda revisions or submission of documents or motions to direct the city manager for future agenda items? Let's go ahead, city manager's report. Update on COVID-19, how we doing? Um, we're doing well. I've actually got a, a few things to talk to you about, about changes that have occurred at the state level and then CARES funding. But the first item, five, the 5,000 that you wanted to appropriate, Arapahoe Nation. Councilmember Christensen. I would move that um, the city manager and city staff um, donate $5,000 to the Northern Arapahoe Tribe to use in the way they see most fit for, to help uh, their nation during COVID. Thank you. I'll second it. The motion is to instruct staff to move forward by allocating $5,000 out of the council con contingency fund um, in order to apply it to assist the Northern Arapaho tribe. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. I also need another motion um, from council to carry over the remaining amount from your contingency fund into 2021. So moved. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. How much is in there right now, Harold? 62,000. Plus 40,000 that we would hope to reimburse from CARES money. Don, you want to jump in and help us um, talk through the liquor fee issue? We've had some changes at the state, and since this is the last meeting, uh, we want to get some direction from you all that we can pass on to the judge and the liquor authority. Don? Mayor and Council, during the special session that was held by the state legislature, they passed a bill that waives um, a whole bunch of liquor licensing fee fees for the next year. Bars and restaurants would not have to pay any fee in order to renew their license as a way to help them um, to recover. So the question is, would council like for us to do the same for the same time period? That's a great idea. Councilor Christensen? Yeah, I think it's a wonderful way to help our businesses just a little bit, uh, restaurants and um, things. So I made the motion, Councilor Christensen seconded it. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Say nay. All right, that motion carries unanimously. Thanks, Don. Good idea. Thank you. The other thing that we've been really working on is um, the utility assistance grants. And so with the work that they're doing at the Hour Center and the work that we're doing internal with our utility assistance piece, we've identified that we, we're going to have about 90,000 that um, Hour Center has moved over to us, of which 50,000 we've moved into the utility assistance piece that we're managing which leaves about 40,000 that we need to reallocate. Again, we're recommending that go into the business boost grants because it's the easiest and the fastest to expend. You need a motion on any of that, Harold? If I can just get direction or consensus from council that we move in, in moving the funds as I described, I think that would help me. All right. so then I'll move that we authorize Harold to make the adjustments in the CARES funding in ways that he just described. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, you've got your direction, Harold. Thank you. This is the information that I've received from Jeff Zayag today. He presented it yesterday to our county administrators meeting. The first thing you can obviously see that we're at 572.5 per 100,000. When you look at the county rate, you can see here that it's um, 6.4. And then obviously where we sit um, in the eight to 11 days, we're at 11 days um, of decreasing our stable admissions in Boulder County. When you look at the hospital surge metrics for level purple, you can see that we are starting to see some differences and you'll see this when we get into the hospital numbers where now one of five Boulder County hospitals are reporting anticipated staffing shortage. I think last week that was two. The big piece is that we've actually had two days under 100 fours with over 100 and we've had one with 200, which is much better than we've been seeing recently. We're still seeing a fair number of cases associated with long-term care facilities. Currently our five-day rolling average is about 103 cases by per day. This has decreased a lot since last Tuesday when the average was 129. 
over the past three weeks, uh, the new case rates in all metro counties have been dropping, um, but are still higher than any time before the re recent surge. As you can see, Boulder, um, the red line is lower than all counties, but Broomfield. Um, highest cumulative rates in, uh, per 100,000, 18 to 22, 23 to 24, and then 25 to 34. You know, the, the good news is that the case rates have decreased for every age group over the past two weeks compared to the previous two weeks, except uh, five to nine year olds where it remained the same. And then again, 76.2% have known race and ethnicity. Um, and we continue to see large disparities in our Hispanic Latinx population. Um, again, you can see the number of tests that we have in play and the number of positives. Really still what this is showing the, the, is the ability to, to perform a lot of tests this is the dial where we're seeing where we are and what it looks like. It, it, this is also improving. Um, and again, emergency department visits by county. You can see where we, we had a dip, but then we went back, but we're still performing really well compared to other counties. Let's go on to the consent, uh, the consent agenda. Item 9A is ordinance 2020-02. A bill for an ordinance authorizing a First Amendment to farmland lease agreement between the City of Longmont and Sipe Farms, LLC. On the Newbie Farms open space, public hearing and second reading scheduled for January 12, 2021. 9B is Ordinance 2021-03, a bill for an ordinance amending Chapter 16.08 of the Longmont Municipal Code to adopt, by reference, the 2020 edition of the National Electric Code. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for January 12, 2021. 9C is Ordinance 2021-04. A bill for an ordinance authorizing the City of Longmont to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal Hangar Parcel H6 to the Shook Family Trust. Public hearing and second reading scheduled for January 12, 2021. 9D is Resolution 2020-133, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving an amended intergovernmental allotment contract between the City of Longmont acting by and through its water utility enterprise and the Windy Gap Firming Project Water Activity Enterprise for capacity in the Wind Windy Gap Firming Project. 9E is Resolution 2020-134, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the City of Longmont Services contract for public, educational, and government access television services. 9F is Resolution 2020-135, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the lease between the City and the Longmont Public Media for the Carnegie Library Building, 457 4th Avenue. 9G is Resolution 2020-136, a resolution of the, Longmont, of the Longmont City Council in support of Governor Jared Polis's temporary restrictions because of COVID-19 and urging neighboring counties to also abide by these restrictions. 9H is approved contracts for economic development services with the following organizations, Colorado Enterprise Fund, Boulder Small Business Development Center, Longmont Economic Development Partnership, and the Latino Chamber. 9I has approved 2021 City of Longmont Water Principles, Colorado Municipal League Policy Statement, and National League of Cities Priorities in Preparation for the 2021 State Legislative Session. 9J has approved three Capital Improvement Program Amendments, and 9K has accept 12 Capital Improvement Program Amendments approved by the City Manager. All right, my motion still stands. Consent Agenda less B, E, G, and K. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Let's go ahead and move on to ordinances a second, on second reading and public hearings on the matter. Let's go ahead with item 10A. This is an, a second reading for ordinance 2020-65, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2020. I will move ordinance 2020-65. It was moved by myself and seconded by council member Christensen. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed, say nay. All right, uh, ordinance 2020-65 uh, passes unanimously. Item 10B, ordinance 2020-66, a bill for an ordinance amending chapter 3.04610, paid holidays designated uh, the Longmont Municipal Code on person personnel rules. Uh, Council Member Christensen. I would move passage of ordinance 2020-66. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Say nay. All right. Ordinance 2020-66 passes unanimously. 
Ordinance 2020-67 of Ilford and Ordinance amending chapter 14.08 chapter of the Longmont Municipal Code by adding section 14.08.647 to allow for adjustment to wastewater billing for commercial and industrial use of cooling water. Council Member Peck uh, moved. Mayor Pro Tem Rodriguez seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Ordinance 2020-69, a bill for an ordinance designating James and Francis Wiggins House at 534 Emory Street as a local historic man landmark. All in favor of ordinance 2020-69. Second. Second. All in favor of ordinance 2020-69, say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, ordinance 2020-69 passes unanimously. Ordinance 2020-70, a bill for an ordinance authorizing the city of Longmont to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal Airport Hangar Parcel NHT2 to KLMO Hangar Gang. I move item E. Ten, yep, I'll go ahead and second ordinance 2020, the passage of ordinance 2020-70. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, ordinance 2020-70 passes unanimously. And then finally, Ordinance 2020-71, a bill for an ordinance repealing and reenacting Chapter 11.04 of the Longmont Municipal Code regarding the Model Traffic Code and adopting the 2020 edition of the Model Traffic Code for Colorado by reference. Do we have a motion? I'll move Ordinance 2020-71. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, Ordinance 2020-71 passes unanimously. All in favor of Ordinance 2021-03 on first reading, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, Ordinance 2021-03 on the consent agenda passes unanimously. Let's go ahead and go on to uh, E. Um, several months ago, I brought this, uh, this um, contract up um, so that people would have a chance to look at the two things that I objected to, the two things that I object to the, the Longmont Public Media doing which are machine transcriptions, which if any of you have looked at those transcriptions, they are not good and they make us look very bad. It is solely done by a machine. No one looks at it. You cannot tell who's talking. Well, any of you who know machine transcription know that there's probably a 10% error rated. And secondly, they do something in which they produce an edited, a smaller, a shorter version of the city council meeting. Furthermore, it's edited. I don't agree with the way it's edited. And our city website um, has a very adequate uh, way of doing this where you can take the agenda and you can just click on what's on the agenda and it'll take you straight to the um, point these two things are really completely unnecessary to be in the contract. They are not only unnecessary, but I think they, are, uh, they make the city look bad. I'm just going to go ahead and move uh, right. resolution 2020-134. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Um, all in favor of resolution 2020-134, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion, the resolution and motion passes unanimously. Councilmember, let's go on to item, uh, let's let's skip G. Let's go on to K real quick. I'll move K. Second. It's been moved by Joan, seconded by Marsha. All in favor of consent agenda item K, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, item 10K uh, passes unanimously. Let's go ahead and go on to item G, resolution 2020-136. It just seems to me that that given uh, the message that we've already communicated and, and what we'd like to communicate and our appeal to other municipalities to join us uh, in a call on other elected officials to join us on the higher ground, um, the wording of the resolution might be a, a little more encouraging and a little less demanding. It just seems to me that, that, that the appeal both to other elected officials, other municipalities, and to the Weld County Commissioners, if we could um, uh, simply be more encouraging and less demanding, I think we might get a better response, at least from other municipalities. So I would actually like to move the resolution forward with the amended language provided by Councilmember Waters. I'll second that. Mayor Pro Tem, who are you kidding? I, I, I caused the backlash. I get that. 
And my whole point in doing so was to get people talking. Weld County ignored 23 mayors who sent a nice letter. I'm, I don't even, I couldn't even put my finger on anything necessarily that Weld County citizens in and of themselves are doing. My whole point was, like him or not, we elected the governor and he's the guy calling the shots right now. We've all got to be a unified body. That's it. And no one was paying attention. Now they are. Anybody else have any other comments before we vote? All in favor of resolution 2020-136, say aye. 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 Vote. Opposed, say nay. All right, that passes unanimously. Substantively, we're gonna, the, the version that you drafted and corrected, that's what's going out with my signature. I have no problem with that. All right, let's go to item 12A, resolution LURA 2020-02, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners, the Longmont Urban Renewal Authority, enacting a supplemental budget and making an additional appropriation for the expenses and liabilities of the authority for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2020. So moved. Second. All right, it's been moved by Councilor Martin and seconded by Dr. Waters. All in favor of resolution LURA 2020-02, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, item 12A, resolution LURA 2020-02, passes unanimously. Let's go on to board and commission appointments. And start with the airport advisory board, but uh, all in favor of Richard Dean, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Aye. All right, Richard Dean passes unanimously. I move that we appoint Russell Robinson to the oh, airport advisory board also. I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, Russell Robinson is appointed unanimously. Art and Public Places Commission. And then uh, I'm going to move Teresa Baxter. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay. All right. So it's that passes six to one with council member uh, Christensen uh, objecting or dissenting. Uh, Jennifer Miller. Second. Okay. All right. All in favor of Jennifer Miller, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. All right. Passes six to one. I move Danielle Cavaney. Second. All in favor of Danielle Cavaney. Say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right. Then that passes unanimously as well. Looks like I'm going to move for the Callahan House that we appoint Karen Cruz and Ann Thompson to the two regular member terms ending December 31st, 2023. Aye. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, opposed, say nay. Okay, that passes unanimously. The Downtown Development Authority. I move that we appoint Wes Parker to DDA. Second. All in favor of West Parker, say aye. 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 Uh, opposed, say nay. Aye. All right. That passes six to one with Council Member Dago Faring in the dissent. All right, Golf Course Advisory Board. I'll move, uh, we appoint Justin Drake. Good. All right, all in favor of Justin Drake, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right. I move we approve or appoint Al Walden. Second. All right. All, then Bush, all in favor of Al Walden, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right. Justin Drake and uh, Justin Drake and Al Walden um, are appointed unanimously. Let's go on to Housing and Human Services Advisory Board. Three regular regular members ending December thirty first, twenty twenty three. I would move uh, Caitlin Abbott. Second. All in favor of Caitlin Abbott, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, that passes unanimously. I'm going to actually move Kimberly Strang. Second. Second. All in favor of Kimberly Strang, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, Kimberly Strang passes unanimously. I would move Deanna Blair. I'll second, second. that. All in favor, say aye for Deanna Blair. Aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, that passes unanimously for Deanna Blair. Caitlin Abbott, Deanna Blair, and Kimberly Strang are appointed to the three regular member terms ending December 31st, 2023. Master Board of Appeals, Don Russell, Andy Ulmer, and Chris Voswig are hereby uh, unanimously appointed to the three regular member terms ending 12-31-23. MOPC Pension Board. I would move Kathy Copella. I'll second that. All in favor of Kathy Copella, say aye. 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 
Opposed say nay. Kathy Cropella is appointed to the unexpired regular term ending June 30th, uh, 2023. Susie Dago Faring, she moves Caldonia Cordova, and I'll second that. I, I do, actually, oh. <laughs> but I can say I'll move Caldonia Cordova for the record. All right, I'll second that. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 So uh, it passes six to one with Councilmember Christensen uh, in the uh, dissent. Go ahead and do planning and zoning. We'll come back to Parks and Rec. That one could get messy. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move Judson Height. All right, I'll second that. All right, all in, fa all in favor of Judson Height, say aye. 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 Uh, Judson Height is hereby appointed a regular member term ending December 31st, 2025. Move on to alternate member terms ending December 31st, 2022. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move Selena Kohler. Second. Second. All in favor of Selena Collar? Aye. 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 Opposed? Say nay. All right. Selena Collar is appointed an alternate member uh, ending December 31st, 2022. I move Ana Lukaci as an alternate member. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Ana Lukaci is hereby appointed an alternate. Move Jerry Boone. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Judson Height is the regular member, and then Jerry Boone, Selena uh, Kohler, and Anna Lukaci are appointed to alternate member terms ending December 31st, 2022. The Senior Citizens Advisory Board. Yeah, uh, there are only uh, two positions. Uh, I move Sheila Conroy and Julie Hauser. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opponent, Sheila Conroy and Julie Hauser are appointed unanimously to two or each two. Uh, regular member term ending December 31st, 2023. Sustainability Advisory Board. I'm going to actually move Kimberly Rankins. Second. Second. Yeah. All right, all in favor for Kimberly Rankin, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. 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 Raise your hand if you're a nay. All right, so the motion fails uh, three to four. All right, Councilmember Christensen. I would move uh, Lynette McLean. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 Nay, say nay. 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 All right, so raise your hand if you're a nay. All right, the motion fails. Mayor Pro Tem, do you have a motion? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I move Catherine or Kay Volmeyer. I'll second that. All in favor of Catherine Volmeyer, say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. 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 All right, raise your hand if you're nays. All right, the motion carries five to two with council members uh, Idago Faring and Peck in the dissent. Visit Longmont board. I'm gonna actually move Stacy Litwin. Second. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded that Stacy Litwin served the regular term ending December 31st, 2023. Say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. Any other, raise your hand if you're a nay. All right. The motion carries six to one. Parks and Rec Advisory Board. Mr. Mayor, Mayor, I move Dan Olson. I'll second that. All in favor is Dan Olson. Say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right. Dan Olson is appointed a regular term ending December 31st, 2023, unanimously. I'm going to move Scott Conlon. Second. All right, all in favor of Scott Conlon, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. 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 All right, raise your hand if you're a nay. So it passes five to two with Mayor Pro Tem Rodriguez and Councilmember Christensen in the dissent. I move Nicholas Novello. Second. All right, all, all in favor of Nicholas Novello, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, Nicholas Novello is appointed unanimously. Scott Conlon, Nicholas Novello, and Dan Olson are hereby appointed three or a regular member terms ending December 31st, 2023. Do we have a motion to conclude this meeting? So moved. Second. All right, cool. Then I will see you guys in three. All right, later, guys.